Hello folks, Rodney Pearson here. We're doing another video. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. Let's get started. In this video, it's going to be proved that Tony Soprano is dead. No doubt about it. He is dead. In my other videos, I proved that Rhiannon is the setup girl. She was used by the New York mob as proven by her pick on the wall in Butcher Salon because after all, she is an elite model and that's their connection. This kind of bothers me. Tony makes mistakes, which makes Carmela make a mistake. Some people have asked why doesn't Rhiannon just lead the New York mob to the safe house because Tony's out in the middle of nowhere. Take a look. So anybody from New York would just stick out like a sore thumb. And what are they going to do? Just go up and knock on the door and say, hey, we're here to kill you. No, folks, that's why you guys are not TV writers, the ones who ask that question. Frankly, that solution is much too simple and nobody would watch that. Because Tony slipped, Carmela slips. That's why she reveals the family's dinner plans to an outsider who's listening intently. Okay, so we know Tony's dead. And we know who's responsible. And we know who set him up. Okay, and this scene right here is foreshadowing to the fact that, yes, Tony is dead. That's why David Chase shot this scene to make Tony look like he's dead in a casket, because that's going to be his future. I believe David Chase modeled Tony Soprano's death on the death of Abraham Lincoln. And uh, as I said, the viewers that you guys you guys really have solidified my theory by uh first of all letting individuals know that tony is dead for sure without a doubt and uh this is it this is john wilkes booth uh at ford's theater uh shooting our 16th president abraham lincoln in the back of the head and this is exactly what happens to Tony Soprano. And I believe that uh, this is the exact angle. The only difference is Tony got his head totally blown off with a double barrel shotgun. Here's a comment from Dub Esquire. And uh, I must say this is one of many that mention this subject. Uh, another foreshadowing was when AJ was in the mental hospital he was watching Abraham Lincoln on TV, who also got his head blown, exploded, and uh, clear up camera. Okay. Great detective work, sir. And take a look at where Tony is sitting and or what? Tony is sitting in. He's sitting in a booth. And who shot Lincoln? John Wilkes Booth. Lincoln died in the historic Ford's Theater. Okay. I call this scene the most important in the series. Look, Ford is just prominently displayed throughout this scene. You're going to see Ford again very, very soon. I got to make a phone call. I'll meet you at the drugstore. Tell the goddamn pharmacist to call Dr. Iaconis. I should get a 60 day supply of the plasma. <laughs> Hey, 
hard. And then the guy. I aim to please, folks. In the end, Tony made a lot of mistakes. I mean, he trusted Butch. He sat at that booth in the restaurant. He actually went out to the restaurant. That's another big mistake. And Rhiannon, he didn't check AJ about Rhiannon. She never should have known where the safe house was. She never should have been there. Those are major, major, major mistakes. And on top of that, he says to, to uh, Carmela, who is she going to tell? Well, she told the New York mob, and that's why you're getting whacked. It all makes me think of a scene from The Godfather. Remember this? I'm all due respect. The Don, rest in peace, was slipping. Yes, folks, the Abe Lincoln angle proves that David Chase killed off Tony Soprano. Without a doubt. Listen to this scene. They talk about stress at work. Well, isn't that what the whole series started on with Dr. Melfi? Stress at Tony's job. He talks about it. They say in this scene, he cheats. And then they also talk about sleeping beauty. Because they're going to put Tony to sleep forever. Take a look at this. for you. Have the chest said already? He cheats. Hello, honest Abe. <laughs> Whatever. You just haven't played for so long. I know. I just got all this stress at work. It's cool. It happens to a lot of people. When Tony got shot and everything faded to black, not only Tony died, but his New Jersey mob family died too. We decapitate and we do business with whatever's left. What? Nothing. I agree in spirit, but I got a counsel. This thing should have been done during John's era. They got redundant upper management, bleeds off half the kick. We take him out, absorb the whole fucking thing. And Butch is the man who does it. It's as simple as that. He's the new king of New York. The end. Please click the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you can be first in line for my new videos. Have a great day.